my friend have you heard of snapchat maybe you've heard about it and you know you don't even think it's of any use to you maybe you think it's it's old news and you don't need it but I'm going to tell you there's there's things you can do if you're trying to grow your audience build your fan list get more sales sell more courses get people to join your business stories are really powerful and you probably see stories in Instagram or Facebook or even LinkedIn now and YouTube of course has stories as well but snapchat was the first platform that ever had stories stories came from snapchat so it stands to reason that snapchat has some features that other platforms don't have they keep trying to improve things and in 2020 they've made additions uh, you know lots of different things that you can do in snapchat that you can't do in the other platforms and that's why I use snapchat to start my 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 story creation if you will I use snapchat to record and then I share it on other platforms I'm going to explain to you why I do it that way and how important it is to have stories why you should be posting stories what are the values of that we're going to talk about all that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so you probably already know this that stories are super important to your strategies you got to add that to your strategy you got to have stories now I'm not gonna say you got to post every single day although it, is, it certainly is better because one of the things about stories one of the most important things about stories and why they're so powerful is because they disappear right they're there for 24 hours so that's the same on Instagram on Facebook Facebook Messenger uh, LinkedIn and even on YouTube so snapchat obviously is the same what happens is you post your story and then it disappears the day after I remember I remember when I first started with stories I thought that was so stupid <laughs> like why would you post something that disappears that's gone that you that you lose right why would you waste energy on something that just goes away right and the thing is the reason is that because it goes away people that are actually interested or actually like watching stories they're going to be like oh I got to go check out what the story is today and I don't want to miss it right I don't I want to see what's going on with this person or whatever and to be honest the kinds of stories that I post aren't really that kind of story really the the idea with stories is really you should be posting about your you know inside scoop of what's going on you should be showing people things about what you're uh, working on what your life's like uh things about your family things about your travel whatever you're doing right that makes people want to know more right now I probably have to improve that but still the 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 way that I that you create your content the way to use the app I'm going to show you that today so let's go look at snapchat right what is snapchat or like I said stories are stories right but this is snapchat over here and we have a an app that you can record let me just uh, put the um, the desktop here so you know snapchat what is snapchat this is snapchat.com you just go to snapchat.com you can create your own your own uh, account on there and obviously whatever you do um, on snapchat is unique to snapchat it stays on snapchat but the cool thing about snapchat just like other platforms you can save the content for later why do I use snapchat to save and then upload on others well the the main reason is that with snapchat I can record up to one minute so 60 second video now I can do that on other platforms and then I can save it to my phone with no watermarks no indication that it was on snapchat unless you really know how to figure out you know how to uh, unless you really know how to tell that it's on snapshot for example right the the filters that are on here right those filters <laughs> look at that guy eh? those filters aren't on, on all the platforms right like this guy here how, what do you think of my hair right doesn't that look crazy I look like I've got a uh, shaved head and then there's this one here which is kind of like a cool um and and by the way so just to kind of show you how that how do you get these filters right lots of people are like how do you get these filters how do you do this I was getting a message because I take the video and I record it and I, like I said I upload it elsewhere and I'll tell you why in a second 
or I, I kind of told you but I'll show you more right and the thing is that what happens is, what you got to do is first you see the screen here you can see the you can see the um these buttons on the screen right right these buttons here you can tap your face you can just tap right on your face like this I can just tap my face and then it kind of finds my face and then it shows down the bottom the different uh what they're called filters right they're called well they're not called filters they're called lenses those are lenses because you do have uh actually snapshot I don't think has filters per se uh they're all the same kind of they're all part of the same thing whichever one you choose whenever you tap it it kind of activates it's kind of like augmented reality you see this one I like this is kind of cool right it's like a I'm like a cartoon character right uh and you know uh, oh look at that I'm a little doggy <laughs> that talks a little doggy that talks isn't that crazy <laughs> and now this one here is uh, a guy with you know long hair and whatever now you can do that on the other platforms some of the other platforms have similar things like this but one of the cool things of snapchat is they've got millions of filters now or slower lenses I should say and how do you find all the other lenses now when you look down here you can see there's not that many right there's maybe 10 or 12 or something right or maybe 20 but the cool thing is if I go here I, I really like this one I'm gonna go you see up top where it kind of moved up hipster look right when I moved it when I, I switched to it it shows me that it's hipster look right it says hipster look right there I can tap the little eye right there and it shows me where that particular filter came from you can see that it came from snapchat right underneath here it says snapchat because other people can actually create filters and upload them to snapchat I don't know how to do that but the, I, as you can see on this website there's filters and lenses you can actually go and create your own your own filter I don't know how that works maybe one of these days I'll try but it's probably not something that I should spend too much time on right but that's kind of cool that you can create your own you know filters and lenses right so anyways that's that's that let's go back to the uh, just the, just look at so okay so now that once you have that filter on your uh, once you click that little uh, information you can actually go to profile or more lenses right I can go to and oh actually the other thing I can do is see the little the little star that's right there right I can actually favorite this and now it's going to be in my list of filters at the bottom of the screen all the time but I can go to view profile here and it shows me all the filters that snapchat has made and as you can see there's like I wish there was a way to search for some because as you can see there's an awful lot of them right there's a lot a lot a lot it doesn't stop right so this is uh this is the, all the filters that you can use on snapchat and I can go to any of these crazy in love right I can use this and now I'm going to be crazy in love I'm crazy in love ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm crazy in love right so I mean that's the thing you can do all these different uh filters I can go back here and now I can go choose another one right let's do a black mask I got a black mask I got a mask see I'm wearing a mask I'm wearing a mask I'm wearing my mask I'm being a good citizen so but anyways that's the thing you can do all these different things there's a whole bunch of different you know I can be a moose head right I'm a moose head hello how's it going I'm a moose I'm a moose I'm a moose I'm a moose right so you can do all these things so that's one of the things now the thing is so that's one of the one of the things you can do okay so with snapchat you can have these crazy filters that's one thing right uh like I said you can have filters like that in other platforms but let me just do let me just do a recording right now with this and show you why I say that uh I use this in other platforms let's just record oh by the way to record if you want to take a picture you just tap this that takes a picture I can press the x at the top there to exit or if I keep my finger on the button it'll record a video like this now it's recording right it's recording and then it'll just play it back played back and played back until you do something with it so, okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to record the uh, video for today's episode which is 245 right CIS 245 by the way if you're listening to this in the audio you can go to CIS 245 dot jsgagnon.com so that's cis245 dot jsgagnon.com go check that out you can go check the whole video uh, if you're you can see what I'm talking about here and you can read there's going to be a blog post as well to read uh, if you like that all right so let's just record today's episode 
video that I this is kind of my process right what do I do I record the video on here then I save it then I share it on other platforms all right so I'm going to just do that right now so let's just do that right now hey how's it going all right to so today's episode you know what I'm actually doing this right now live in my uh, episode I'm actually recording this you know story and I'm going to be using this story showing you how to use a story in snapchat to upload to other platforms why I use snapchat versus other platforms to create the content or the story content and we're going to show you how to do that uh, right now in the episode so you're going to go check the episode out to go see this whole process how I'm doing this because I'm actually recording right now for the episode but I'm also recording the video and you're seeing me record <laughs> anyways it's all connected so go to cis245.jsgagnon.com cis245.jsgagnon.com to go check out the full video of this how to use snapchat to share to all the story platforms why do I use snapchat and the things you can do in snapchat all right go check it out all right so now I have the recorded video if uh, you can see my phone too right I can, live in my, can see my uh, episode I'm actually recording this you know story and I'm going to be using this story showing you how I'm to use down. a story I'm going to turn the volume down so basically now I have the video recorded right I could share it to my story but I'm not going to do that right now I first I tap the little button down here which is the save button I'm going to tap that then it's going to say saving right here right so it saves the whole video now I could have I went to 50 some seconds or whatever uh, I could do all the way to 60 that's the thing is you can record a whole video that's 60 seconds I'll show you the difference with the other platforms in a minute but now I've got the video recorded right so the next thing I do is I normally I have the the, the blog post written and I have the other stuff done uh, before I share this so I have text in my buffer and all that stuff that I've been that I cut and pasted from other posts so but right now I'm gonna have to do it manually right so it's so it's it's um so what's the text I have on here let me just turn the text on on my thing here so you can see, we can see what it is so the text is how to use how to use snapchat snapchat to oh in 2020 in 2020 to share to all story platforms to share to all story platforms okay so that's the that's the title right how to use snapchat in 2020 to share to all story platforms so that's the title of my blog post today so that's kind of how I do it I put it in here I'm actually going to cut and copy this in my buffer because uh that's anyway so that's kind of what I do all right so now I have that here I put that at the top of the screen I also go to actually I should probably yeah let's go do that so let's go create the default blog post because what's going to happen is I'm going to need to put the link in here and I want to make sure the link goes to the right episode so I'm going to create a new blog post and I'm actually going to make this um I'm going to publish it with the new URL and everything and I'm because if I don't do that what will happen is that the snapchat link will go to my main blog page and I wanted to do that so it's going to be course income secrets number 245 so how to use snapchat in 2020 to share to all platforms okay so now I'm going to just paste that here that's the first paragraph here come back in a bit in a bit okay so I'm gonna just do that make that a heading and I'm just gonna save it like this for now just I'm actually gonna publish it because that's how do you use snapchat and turn to share to all platforms okay so now I have the link I'm gonna take this link I'm gonna add it to my 
because I have to do that too because otherwise like you see on my phone right now oh actually you don't see on my phone oh, well let's just uh let's just get this done first it's loading uh well let me show you the phone because as you can see on my phone whenever you enter an, an episode uh, a url it'll go and fetch kind of a preview and it uses that in the snapchat post so right now I've got to load this up here I've got to go in here and add it to here right here to my dns it's going to make me log in very good sorry that this I well the thing is that I can't not do this normally I do it after I record the video and everything but because I'm trying to show you live the the actual process this is kind of the process I go through I actually add these to my uh to my so that the cis245 goes to this blog post right that's just the domain update how I do the domain uh, settings right <clears throat> okay so that's that let's confirm that and almost almost done now it's done okay so now in my app if I go let's go back to this if I go back to my phone here and I actually type in cis because if I would have done that before it would have messed up the cache and the uh, 245.js gagnon.com so unfortunately the cache will still be a little bit messed up because it'll have an image it won't have an image or whatever right come back in a bit right it says that but that's still the right link so that means that when I attach the snap right here now I have it here right and I can just then the other thing I do I put swipe up to watch video and read blog right I just put that down here and I also add my snap code now why do I do that some people are like why do you add your snap code people are already on your you know story or whatever well the thing is that whenever you share it oh the other thing I do is I put a little arrow up here okay so now the next when I tap that blue that big blue button down here it's going to allow me to share it to my story so up top as you can see there's my story right there and then down here there's our story so you want to share to our story as well because that'll put it on the map wherever you're located in my case it's in Prince Edward Island Canada so there's not a whole lot of people on Snapchat but it still shows it on something if somebody's navigating the, the map they can see that it's on the story then I tap the bottom there and then just adds it to the story as you can see right here it's uploading I'm actually going to turn my wi-fi off because it'll be better for the for the sharing and all that um it'll it'll come back in a second here the <clears throat> so that's gonna come reconnect it's probably gonna reconnect in a second uh, it's not it's my phone is not connected come on a phone you can do it <gasps> is it coming back or maybe I need to reconnect my uh air droid thing uh, let's see where's the tools over here air droid okay that's the thing we got re disconnected I disconnected in the middle of doing all this so let's see what happens let's turn the uh set off there you go uh I'm going to close this and I'm going to re I, I should have probably disconnected before is he he's reconnected connecting so I got I lost my connection here but I think it's probably because he's busy uploading to snapchat right he's uploading to snapchat right now so that's kind of using up my bandwidth hopefully it'll reconnect in a second because I want to show you what I do after that right because the thing is that I and I'll show you how, why I can't I can't fail to mirror you can retry let's see okay he's done uploading now maybe that'll work better now maybe I just need to go maybe I do need to go to here and
it's not oh there we go okay I'm back in okay so let's just uh, do this go up here all right so now we got the let's put it back up here where we had it before mm. okay so now if I go back to snapchat okay so now once it's uploaded to snapchat you can see the circle up here was yellow for a while it was uploading you probably I guess you didn't see that but when you look at it you can see the that the story is uploaded as you can see I don't get like millions of views and this is needs to, probably needs to be updated but if I look at our story you can see I get 195 views on our story right and that's you can scroll back and whatever and see where that's at but that's that's the basics of recording on snapchat so that you can then share it now why do I like I said let's go back why do I record on snapchat and other, not other platforms say I go to Instagram right I go to Instagram and I rec I go to the camera on Instagram it's basically the same thing right I can record something I can choose some some effects right I can choose some different things that as uh, that Instagram has Instagram supports the same similar kind of thing where you can have these uh, face filters but they do other things they have other things the the thing with um it looks like my internet is really bad isn't it eh? let's uh, I don't know if I should reconnect anyways okay so um yeah because the the phone is a lot better than what you see there right now let's let's get that guy out of there we don't need him see the phone is look at that that's my camera my not my camera but my why is it why do I see two oh that's the reflection plus the actual yeah because see there's my light right my ring light but anyways okay so so that's in Instagram in Instagram I can do the same thing I can record a video like this I can record a video and it can be recorded and I'm like right now I'm actually pressing the button to record I hold my finger on it you see the little thing going around that's going to be the maximum then when it gets to the end there it's actually going to keep recording and it's going to add another part to my story right it's more than one piece to the story so it's more than 15 seconds so you can record up to I believe a minute on uh, Instagram by doing this but the problem is that you're not saving the whole video is you're going to be saving different 15 second pieces so four videos of 15 seconds right so if I was to do that and I wanted to upload it to snapchat well I wouldn't be able to really it would upload a 15 second one and then it would have a 10 second and then the five second then I would have to upload the second one 15 second 10 seconds then I would have to upload the third one so I would end up with because snapchat splits it in 10 second pieces I would end up with all these different pieces uh I would end up with what so it's six well whatever right you do the math right so four plus four eight pieces right instead of six so as you can see now I've got the the four uh, videos they're all separate and I and I can do that with Instagram but but then when I want to share this and the problem is sharing this snapchat now if you don't care about snapchat maybe you don't care about this so I'm just going to do this but now what I do is I click on the bottom um on the bottom button down here that's the upload so I click on that and it shows me all the videos I have here to upload right and the first one is the 58 second one from from snapchat so I just tap it and then it loads it up and it's got the four pieces to it right so then what I do is I actually add text here and say doing a live training on snapchat on stories actually stories stories so I'm just posting that right now this is kind of how I do it so I do the first one in in with a different color here and then I do the next one uh, this was <clears throat> to show you show you how to use one platform one platform to share everywhere everywhere right okay so then I do another color here 
and I'll tell you why in a second why I do that so the the last two ones the last two ones I actually put in the title uh oh no I lost it I lost it okay so I'm gonna have to do this uh let's do it again let's type it again what is it let's go back to here I lost it because um okay so I have to do the same thing so I thought that's the thing I don't that's the problem with one of the, with the the clipboard I have on my phone if I it doesn't keep all the stuff I co copy it just keeps the last few things and then I have to pin it if I want to keep it I find that kind of annoying I'd like it to keep the last you know 10 things it, 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 why would it delete stuff anyways if you know if you know of a good clipboard app for your phone let me know I'm, I'm on Android uh so okay uh, how to use snapchat how to use snapchat to oh in 2020 in 2020 to share to all story platforms story platforms okay I'm going to copy this and put it in my buffer copy <coughs> okay pin it there now at least it's there okay so then what I do here is I set the color to green and like this okay <clears throat> okay I put that up the top by the way as you can see as I'm moving this up you can see a little uh little blue line there that's showing me that I'm actually got it centered right if I go and move it you'll see that the lines show up there now it's centered right <clears throat> and then when I move it up where that blue line shows up that's kind of the top if I don't want it to hide my name or things like that I I put it there so that's where I always put it go to the next one and I paste the same thing and I make it a green but I make it green background instead and I'll tell you why in a second why I do that okay so then I put the link at the bottom of my story because in in Instagram unless you have 10,000 followers you can't actually do the swipe up thing like in doing snapchat so I actually put the name the the url there so I just say learn more at and then I put the link right cis 245.jsgagnon.com cis245 and I also copy this because I want to keep I want <clears throat> to paste it in the next one and also in TikTok because I share this in TikTok and I'm going to make this I make this blue put it down the bottom same thing see how the lines show up as same thing right if you don't want it to uh, uh, go over the send message stuff and all that right you can still put it there but people won't necessarily be able to read it right and I paste this and then I make it blue heart uh, with a blue background okay so now I've got my four pieces of content that come from the 60 second recording I did a snapchat with the text on top and I just say next and I share it to my story and I say done and that's it now it's going to my story <coughs> it's being uploaded so if I go back to my story here and I just swipe up I can see it's posting right it'll take a while to post all these and that's the thing so I I wait for the post to be finished on Instagram once it's posted on Instagram then I post to then I can share this to Facebook and I can share it to um LinkedIn so on Facebook you basically go to Facebook you just click on your create a story right here and then you just choose the videos now right now see how there's see how there's the 10 second ones the 15 second ones. that's from my story from this morning that I posted about about last night's um, video uh, episode they're not showing up here for the the this 58 second one is there alone right just the 58 second there's no pieces to it the, those those 10 second 15 second pieces will show up only after it's posted to Instagram successfully so once it's posted successfully to Instagram I just come here and I take number one so I take the first one right there's two of them by the way the reason why there's two is because I've got it sharing to my Facebook page as well when I post to Instagram it shares to Facebook page as well at the same time it's a setting in your Instagram account that's why there's two but I just need one of them so this one and then I need the second video and then I need the third video then I need the fourth video right so once I've once I've gotten all those videos shared the, the um uh, to Instagram then I can start sharing them on Facebook 
and I'm not going to do that well I guess I can show you if I go to Facebook I just tap that and I click the share I just click the share the story down the bottom here and that'll add it to my Facebook story and that's it so I can do the four of them after they're all uploaded to Instagram I can go to each of them tap add it tap the next one add it tap the next one add it tap the next one add it and the thing I find is with with Facebook you can actually do that you can actually go and share them uh that way now the reason why I put the text in my stories like I said I always start my story with a little something and it's got a certain color to the text and then I do the next one and it's also got a certain color to the text and then the last two I have the green with a white background text and the last one I have the green background text right the background is green uh, dark green so I do that because what can happen is when you're sharing it to Instagram sometimes one of the videos out of the four will fail and it won't it won't upload in the right order it'll stay it'll still be fine in Instagram it'll show up in the right order you just go back to Instagram and say retry or whatever and then it'll finish uploading <clears throat> but and it'll be fine in Instagram but your list of videos here won't necessarily be the right order that's why I use these colors to know which one is number one number two number three number four and I share them in the right order in Facebook in Facebook once you've added the, the, them to your story and they start uploading they'll be in the right order you can retry them and if they any of them fail uh but they'll stay in the right order right so that's one of the benefits of now here's the other thing if I go to LinkedIn now if I go to LinkedIn LinkedIn has stories now as well right so you got your story which is your profile your profile story and then you if you have any business pages you'll see them here as your business page as well so what I do is I go to my story right here I tap to my story and I say new story down the bottom and it's the same thing I go and then down the bottom here you got this little uh, icon you just tap that and that loads up the videos that you have right so we already have I think one two three they're all there now so, so as you can see there's there's one so there's there's the video number one number two number three number four right and the original longer video over here which is the snapchat one right 24 megs c5 megs there's smaller ones vid 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 right this one's snapchat I know that's the long one so I know that I can use the first one here so and I tap it to add it to the story right I'll just say share the story right now and I can uh tap so on on the LinkedIn on all stories the same thing you tap on the side here it goes to the next and you tap here it goes to the previous right if I tap on the side here it'll go to the previous story right <laughs> sorry see as you can go but if I tap on the right hand side it goes to the next story and right now you can see that it's uploading see it's at 47 percent now the thing with LinkedIn is that you can't add them one two three four like I do with Facebook so you got to be careful you got to actually wait for it to at least finish uploading if you don't wait for it to finish uploading and you add the other ones lots of times I've I've found that it fails it actually fails to add a video and then you have to go retry and the problem with inst with LinkedIn now it's finishing up so that's fine now I can add another one the problem with LinkedIn is that if it fails to add if it fails to add and you retry it it'll actually add it to the end of your story so it'll it'll change the order that they were in which is really annoying so that's why I always wait for it to finish I go here I add the second one now now you can see the first one is story successfully added and the next one is starting to upload now right 12 percent it's uploading and while it's loading you can actually see you can actually see it upload and you can you know you can wait for it to upload as long as it finishes up the upload then it'll you'll be able to add the next one because once it's up once it's finished uploading the only thing left to do is for them to process it right so they got to process the video um so 77 so that's kind of what I do on Instagram uh so so by sh by creating the video in Snapchat I'm able to upload it now the thing that I found is that I have to go to Snapchat to record it so that I get a full 60 second story 
then I have to upload it to, to Instagram first because if I try to upload the 60 second now here's the thing in in um Facebook you can select a long video I can add this 58 second video and it says that it'll shorten to 26 seconds but you can trim them first so you can't actually you used to be able to and it would but it would mess it up so I guess they have it 26 seconds now so that's the maximum and on LinkedIn you can't put more than a on LinkedIn you can't put more than a uh I think it's 20 seconds on here so if I take the long video it'll tell me choose video shorter than 20 seconds right so you can't upload it directly into LinkedIn now you could record a story for in every single platform specific which is recommended but if but you know this <clears throat> this allows me to just do it slowly over the day or whatever I don't necessarily have to do it all you know uh, live or whatever and that's one of the things that I do so that's so I guess that's kind of how you do it now the other thing is I go to TikTok I also add videos in TikTok I go here and in TikTok I can upload the full video I can go to the full video right here actually I probably should upload yesterday's one let's upload yesterday's one <coughs> and then it I can do next I in TikTok I kind of try to add some text and but I'll do that later and so but that's the thing so with t with TikTok <coughs> uh yeah so that's the so when you upload to Facebook you also get your story in your uh how do you get I think here no this is one of the things I find really um people no chats no people uh, stories Uh, one of the things I find difficult oh there it is stories right there okay so in Facebook th this is the thing whenever you upload your story to Facebook it also goes to Facebook Messenger as a as a story here too right if I look at this this is my story that I posted in Facebook but it's right here in Messenger and you can actually see that there's people that viewed it right you can see that these people viewed my story in Messenger I don't know if it's linked to Facebook as well uh, but I guess maybe they are I'm not really sure but uh, yeah so that's kind of so you by posting the way I do snapchat Instagram stories Facebook stories I end up on Facebook messenger stories then I post to LinkedIn stories so I'm I'm posting to five different story platforms and then I add TikTok which is a six platform which is not really a story but lets you post this the 60 second video and that's kind of how I do my posting on all these different platforms all right so hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions of course you can reach out and if you're interested in learning how to syndicate your content I've got lots of posts on my blog if you go check that out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.